Oh, my goodness. Happy birthday. Thank you. You sure you don't want to stay in bed for a bit longer? I'd better go. It's not every day a girl turns 16. Oh, happy birth... What? Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God! Why am I here? You, my friend, are here to carry the pig. So why are you here? I am here to pay for the pig. Why did you not just give me the 200 euros for the pig? Because, young man, armed with the negotiating skills of a blind, drunken goat, you would have paid 200 euros. I thought you wanted a pig, not a goat. I am about to come out of that shop having paid only 50 euros for said pig. The price is 200. How did you pay 50? Stand back, my friend. Watch and learn as the master goes to work. Excuse me, you see that pig? Thank you. <laughs> you won't move on the price of the pig. Come on, I've got another idea. What are we doing here? This is disgusting. Take it from someone who knows. Fresh meat guidelines are ludicrously stringent. If this meat was thrown away today, there is absolutely nothing wrong with it so long as it's cooked today. Do you want us to cook meat that has been thrown away? Bingo! Close to the bone, sweeter is the meat. Last slice of Virginia ham is the best. Looks just the job eat. that. Yes. You don't eat pig? I will not be eating this one. I saw where it came from. Yeah, you can get emotionally attached to them if you've seen them running about and that. I was the same when I went to see the film Winnie the Pooh. Did you never eat poo again? Piglet. Piglet was one of the characters in Winnie the Pooh. Honestly, you try and have a decent conversation. Come on now, ladies and gentlemen. We have space for one more competitor. The rules are very simple. All you have to do is eat. No takers? There. Oh! Thank you, sir. Step right this way. <laughs> Bloody hell, I think we should have got a bigger pig. Great. We may as well all forget it. Old Jimmy Five Bellies has got it in the bag. Hiya. Look at the state of you two. You look as if you couldn't manage a mouthful each. I'm sorry. That pig is going down, down my throat. You know hoppers haven't got a chance. All right, Donald, calm down. It's only a bit of fun. Oh, no, I don't, I don't mean to be rude. This is just jive talk. All the big fighters do it before a match. You're eating a plate of pork, not going 12 rounds with Mike Tyson. Bring on the meat! Are you sure you want to do this, B? I can drink or eat any man under the table. There you go. She's got the idea. <sighs> Your mother wouldn't know a plate of pork if it hit her in the face. Are you talking about my family? Sorry. The rules are very simple. Eat as much pig as you can. Mind the crackling. There's no runners up. It's a winner takes all. OK. We are now full to capacity. Very full. Gentlemen and lady, raise your forks. Three, two, one, eat! Who let the dogs out? 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 Come on, let's get this bitch steaming! <laughs> oh, I don't mean you. I, I'm, I'm in the pedalo. Look, if Elena says you should wear your life vest, you should wear it. Oh, listen to him. I told you he gets nervous around water. I'm not nervous. I'm just saying if we're going far out, then I think you should put it on. Just keep pedaling, mate. The only thing you have to worry about is what to do with yourself when me and Elena are going for a swim. Turn it off. Turn it off. Let me go.
never known a flight like it. You slept all the way. What is the point of paying for extra legroom when the f cow next to me had half her back wedged in my seat? You didn't pay for extra legroom? No, and thank God I never with Barbara Papa sitting next to me. I'm sure she was the woman in that documentary. She went to the doctor with stomachache. He lifted up her gut, found nine quid in loose change, two remote controls and next door's cat. Well, will you please shut up? I've just listened to two hours of you snoring on the plane. I don't need any more headache. And what have you got in that bag? Snoring? Who was snoring? Chance to be a fine thing with Elvis Presley next to me farting, shoveling in the pasties. He did snore, because I videoed it on my dad's phone. Eh? That's never me. You've done something with that. Give us it here. Get off. Get, get, stop Nana, get off. Right, give us my phone, no. Michael. Get off. Right, give us my phone. Right. Hey, what's going on here? Nothing. They're just a bit giddy about being on holiday. <laughs> what is this? What kind of film is this? You are not allowed to bring video nasties into Spain. Video nasties? That's my mother. You cheeky b You're not exactly Michael Bubbly yourself. Uh, she didn't mean that. She's not had a sick for about three hours. She'll be all right once we get her outside and stick her gob over the coach's exhaust for a couple of minutes. <laughs> quick, 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 put it out. Oh. Put it out. Ooh. What has <laughs> been going on? Oh. <laughs> That's one of our towels. <coughs> Hello, Miss Breakfast. <coughs> and you say you packed this bag yourself? Yes, sir, I did, sir. I'm sorry, it's a bit of a mess, sir. Yes, sir, no, sir, three bags full, sir. Mm. Has anyone interfered with this old brown leather bag? No, she's been a widow for years. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I couldn't resist that one. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Look, I I'm not being funny, but is this going to take much longer? If we miss our coach transfer, it's going to cost us a fortune in a taxi. It will take as long as it takes. We're a family going on holiday to Benidorm. We're not exactly international drug runners. Oh. I didn't mean no, I just meant hello. Hello. You don't remember anything from last night, do you? No, but I wish I did. <laughs> You're so funny. I bet you don't even remember my name. Of course I know your name. Silly. Go on then. What is it? Your name is... not... Gwen? That's right, Martin. My name is not Gwen. Sorry, I, I, know, I know this appears awfully rude. I just haven't woken up properly yet. Neither have I, but I remember your name's Martin. You've been here for a couple of days with your friends before you go to your villa in Mercia. Do you have to go? Mm -hmm. My mum and dad will be wondering where I am. You're on holiday with your mum and dad? Yeah. Come and say hello to them. And by then, you might have remembered to wish me a happy birthday. It's your birthday? Today? Oh, my goodness. Happy birthday. Thank you. Are you sure you don't want to stay in bed for a bit longer? i better go. It's not every day a girl turns 16. Oh, happy birth... What?! Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God! Well, lots of lost to the sand. Any more than the Levante Beach will be borrowing bags of it from us. Yeah, it's wonderful, isn't it? Hmm. What's wrong with you? Well, if people want the beach, they can go to the beach. I don't see the point of it, to be honest. And that, Leslie, is why you are staff and I am management. To get ahead of the field, one has to have a vision for the ever-changing face of the all-inclusive. Talking about the ever-changing face, is everything all right? What do you mean? Well, I don't want to sound rude, but you look like you've had a fight with your makeup bag and lost. I had a slight reaction to some medication I took last night. Ah, see, that's why you've trolled it on. <laughs> I tend to think less is more when it comes to foundation. 
What's going on here? Welcome to the Solana Beach Benidorm. That's not a beach. It's a builder's yard. Well, it's not quite finished yet. You want us to set up a sunbed and a table on it for you? No, I don't. Food here's bad enough without getting a gob full of sand in it. Get out of my way. I think the ever changing face of the all inclusive could do with a lift. No. <laughs> oh, I meant that one. Trying to leave, the police have got this place surrounded. What? Oh my god, I had no idea how old she was. Please, you've got to believe me. What? I can't go to prison. I wouldn't last a day. Locked up like a caged animal, being disowned by my family, getting raped in the showers by Mr. Big. Whoa, oh, oh, calm down, pal. It was a joke. What? I was just taking the mickey because of the way you were creeping about. The police aren't outside. No, well, I didn't say any. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Do you know if there's any bar jobs going here? Going where? Going here. Going here from where? Do you know if there's any bar jobs available? <laughs> no. There are no jobs. They are not coming, they are not going. There is nothing here for you. Good morning. Is there a problem? That young lad come through here looking for bandages. No problem. I was just asking if there's any job vacancies. But I can see all your staff are of a certain age. No worries. Have a good day. Hey, what did you mean? That you're not all like him. Thanks a lot, pal. I'm sorry, Les. I could not let him get away with saying this. You didn't have to say that. He's got a point. We have had a lot of younger staff leave recently. Then I'll say good riddance to them. The young ones might be nice at the look at, but you can't beat experience. Busy out here today? Yeah, it's filling up. Better grab us a couple of sunbeds. Oh, come on, Kenneth. You said now we've got the green light from your Uncle Bertie. We can open the salon properly. Yes, and we will, Liam, love. In great style, tomorrow. Really? Yeah. Which means today we have to mentally and physically prepare ourselves. Two sunbeds. Here we are. Two hobby floor bangers. You boys have started early. Yeah, we have a lot to celebrate, Leslie. Namely, tomorrow's grand reopening of Blow and Go. Fantastic. Hey, you kind of fit me in for some highlights, can you? I liked this bob when I first got it, but it needs a bit of jazzle up. Yeah, no problem, love. <laughs> Same again, love. No trouble. Are you going to come in to get your hair done, Dad? No, I'm working all day tomorrow. I'll just leave it in the jiffy park at reception. Smash it. Oh, you pity me of a modern parent. Oh, I don't pity him. I think it's fabulous. Two Harvey floor bangers, please, amigo. Oh, Leslie, it's okay for you to do them. I am going for a break. Oh, how we are, man. Play the game. We're absolutely chock a block this morning. Ooh. Allow me. Hey, hey! <laughs> what are you doing? You'll have to come away from there, lad. It's staff only. Hey, what is wrong with you? Are you a deaf? <laughs> Get out of my bar. What's going on? I don't know. The lad just jumped over the counter. I'm sorry, young man. You'll have to come away from that bar. Are you listening? Leslie, can we get some security here, please? Oh, How lovely. <laughs> Two Harvey floor bangers. Well, my version. Tastes twice as good, but uses half the amount of alcohol. Oh, my God, that tastes amazing. Kenneth! I'm sorry, but it does. You. Come with me. What? Wait! Miss Temple Savage! You say there are no vacancies. Miss Temple Savage! <laughs> oh, my days, that is absolutely delicious. Say that again. So he's going to be OK, isn't he? Who? Where? Guy? 
so it's only me. <clears throat> Don't worry, it's only me. Oh. oh, Liam, you came. Of course I came. You texted me four times already, telling me not to be late. All the people in here have been so kind. Is that for me? Yeah. Really? Oh, you shouldn't have. <laughs> I don't want to be a burden to anyone. What's this? Oranges. You're taking the p I've got an R complaint, not friggin' scurvy. But there's grapes in there as well. Where's the Zingerberger and fries asked you for? They're not open yet. The doctor said you're not to get excited. Excited? About what? A bloody fruit salad? I'm wasting away in here and you bring me this bag of s***. And what's this? A lemon? What am I supposed to do with a bloody lemon? Oh, stop this for a game of soldiers. I'm off to John and Joseph's for a fry up. Stay there! What stay there! Stay, stay in bed! Me, why you don't stay in bed! No! No! Get me out of this bed right now! You get off me right now! You can't do this to me! Get off me! And. and. Morning, love. Oh, I'm so glad to get off that coach. I've never known such a bumpy ride. Uh, I'm just finishing these two young men off. Can I put you in the capable hands of my colleague, Matteo? I don't mind who sorts me out. I'm just glad to be in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Your name is Mina Love Allen. Mina Love's my real name, but everyone calls me Queenie. <laughs> OK, Queenie, you have a double room booked for one week. There is just you. Nobody else. Well, for the moment. But hope springs eternal in the human breast. <laughs> what does this mean? I've no idea. Just get a book in. She's frightening the other guests. OK, Queenie. Here's your all-inclusive wristband and your room key. You are on the 11th floor. Please, have a happy holiday. It's a good job I've got a head for heights. <laughs> These stairs, yes? It will be much quicker for you to take the elevator. Oh, no, I never go in elevators. They make me nervous, and I break out into uncontrollable laughter. <laughs> Did you want me to find your room on a lower floor? Oh, no, don't bother yourself. It's all good fun, isn't it? Eleventh <laughs> floor! <laughs> right. Or whether I'm wrong Whether I find a place in this world or never belong I gotta be me I gotta be me What else can I be but what I am I wanna live well, I must say, this is very pleasant. What, the food? No, making friends on holiday. Where's Burke and Air gone? Who? Michael. I'm the other one. I, I gave Michael and Tiger ten euros each to spend on the machines. That was very good to hear. Ten euros each? You're right in the head. It's the last you'll see of them tonight. They'll be eyes a kite sniffing glue round the bins. Excuse me, Tiger does not sniff glue. All right, calm down. When did you start defending your brother? When she started to disrespect him. Respect? Ha! That's a joke. What do you know about respect? Trotting round the pool with your tits out and your high heels. <laughs> I think it's probably best if you don't judge my son or my daughter by your own very low standards, Madge. And who do you think you're talking to, you space old cow? Do you know? I felt sorry for you when we first met. Married to him with a face like a ruptured ass. But it's him that deserves the sympathy for putting up with you. More drinks? Yes. And we'll have them over there. Come on. That's right. <laughs> off. Sit with your own kind. Animals, the lot of you. I sit. Much more room. <sighs>
God, she'd be amazing to go shoplifting with. Magic, magic, magic. You gotta move on. He's a good Hang on! I've never seen anything like this in my entire life. Well, I must say, I've seen the real Sticky Vicky, and this comes pretty close. Oh my god! Hey, taxi's outside there for you. Oh, yeah, thanks, mate. These are our door keys. There might be some missing. I think one or two of them slept in the hallways. We had quite a heavy night last night. And you forgot to take off your fancy dress makeup? No, we got sold some dodgy pills. We had a pretty wild time, but they, um, well, they turned us orange. I can see this. Oh, and there's also there's quite a lot of damage in most of the rooms, but just, just bill it to my card, OK? Wakar, hey, hey, where are you going? You cannot leave. You have to pay for your damage. Hostia, Miss Temple Savage, Miss Temple Savage, Miss Temple Savage. There are guests trying to leave, but they have destroyed their rooms. Miss Temple Savage. Uh, where are my glasses? I'm sorry, I had a bit of a late night last night. <laughs> Mark, are you getting up or what? I just want another half hour. I'm on holiday, for God's sake. It just seems a complete waste of time lying in bed when it's gorgeous sunshine out there. Tonya. I mean, it's not as if this is the last word in luxury in here. That bed could be used as medieval torture. Tonya. I realise you had a lot to drink last night, but why you would want to lie festering in that pit any longer than you have to is a complete mystery to... Tonya! Turn out the light. I close the door on your way out. Oh, the bulb's gone. Good. Shall I tell the front desk? Clive. Clive. For God's sake! Will you leave me alone? <sighs> oh. Oh. Miss Temple Savage, your taxi has been waiting. Yes, I know. I've had to change again thanks to Tweedledum and Tweedledee out there. Who? Oh. Mind. Mrs. Temple Savage, you know your car's waiting for you. What on earth are you wearing? Oh, I had Kenneth refresh my best wig for Leslie, but I can't get into Blown Gold till it's open. Well, in the meantime, someone should try and refresh that suit. Looks like something they gave me father after the war. Ah, don't you worry. As soon as it's open, I'll be looking a million dollars. Yes, all in loose change. Right, I'm off. Uh, have a wonderful time. Oh, don't forget, Les. This time next month, who knows? You could be assistant manager. You really think so? This is your chance to shine. And with great office comes great responsibility. Here are the keys for the vending machines. I don't know what to say. Hasta luego. <laughs> oh, any problems, call me. Just go. Luego. Right, I want this reception area tidied up. It's an absolute disgrace. There's nothing wrong with it. I want to be able to eat my dinner off this counter. Why don't you just use a plate? Or are they also in blow and go? No, let's get one thing straight, Matty. Or you and me might be mates, but there's a new boss in town. Yes, and he's being an asshole. Les, what is wrong with you? He's wearing men's clothes, making you upset. No, let's get one thing clear. While Joyce is away, what I see a ghost. It's either my way or the highway. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You know there's no smoking inside. It's not lit. Don't split hairs with me. How's that splitting hairs? Are you going to have a go at him for having 20 unlit cigs in his pocket? I assume that's a packet of 20, all right? You're just pleased to see me. <laughs> <laughs> that's enough. Great. You get this whole reception area cleaned, and you get that salon opened. Hang on a minute. Who's died and left you a personality in their will? I think they also left him that suit. Ha! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Well, Joyce is away. I am acting assistant manager. There's only one thing you're acting, love, and that's a complete 
Ted, now, kindly excuse me while I have a stroll into Benidorm and enjoy my ciggy. Uh, don't worry, I'll make sure I'm at least at the Ponyente Beach before I spark up. Hey, what time are you going to open this salon? Shove it! My way or the highway? I think he chose the highway. <laughs> Listen, Clive, I just wanted to say about last night, you know, it's been a stressful few days for all of us, and I think it's probably best all round if we just... What I mean is, you know, we're all here on holiday, supposed to be enjoying ourselves, so what is the point of... You know, what is the point of... I forgot what I was going to say now. Beer. Absolutely. Got the one of them, pal. Two more, please. Come and rate up. Hello. Can I help you? Are you part of the stag party? No, I always dress like this. Oh, right. OK, it, I'll knock on the door. I'm pretty sure the guy in here is the one who's getting married. Excuse so... me, excuse me, yes, I'm part of the stag party. Can I help you? You said you weren't. It was a joke. How can I help you? We were wondering if you're in the market for some shit. Some shit? Yeah. What do you mean, like, for the garden? A garden? Yes, like manure. Manure? What's that? French? Manure, no, it comes out of a horse's bottom. Look, man, we've got most things. We've got leapers, moggies, snappers, dust, dollies, eggs, jellies, dings and turkeys. Just let us know what you want. And if you've got the lettuce, we've got the candy. But we ain't got no manure. Hey, it's Pimp Diddy Martin! <laughs> See, you brought your bitches. They aren't my bitches. I think it's Bob a job week. Are you ready? Everybody's downstairs waiting. Troops! He wants to know if you want to buy some drugs. Mikey, for God's sake, man. What's that is? Drugs? You're selling drugs? How old are you, 12? I'm 16. And you, you should know better. If your father found out you were doing this, he'd bloody well skin you alive. So is that a no, then? Of course it's a no. Do we look like the kind of people who take drugs? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Martin, go downstairs, get the shots lined up. I'll be down in turn. Come in, boys. Oh, my God. I didn't see this. Wow. He's blind as well as stupid. Now, come on, boys. Don't be like that. I mean, they're not bad kids. No. They're not. They're not. They're, they're good kids. But what we've got to remember is that we were teenagers, but we weren't teenagers in this day and age. We didn't have the internet. Didn't have the internet. Didn't have computer games. Mm. Television. You didn't have television? How old are you? And we didn't have the hundreds of channels they got now. Mm. Three channels we had. Aye. There's still twice as much to watch than the shite they've got on 300 channels now. Here, here. <sighs> so... What line of business are you in, then? I was in the tanning stroke sunbed trade, but, uh, well, bottom fell out of it, really. How about you? I'm in construction. Mm. The bottom hasn't fallen out of that. Yeah, I'm sure. It's had a complete prolapse. Seriously? I'm trying to ride it out. Between you and me, things ain't looking good. Mm. Still, you managed to come on holiday. How bad can things be? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>